Yield curve inversion lasted about five minutes at least based on tens to twos. Correct. It's steepening a bit, but we are seeing a little buying coming off the high yield levels. Your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it makes perfect sense. We, we got a bump. We started to get a bump on Friday. We got a bigger bump after the uh, 3 o'clock close here, but because of we... The Fed, the Treasury came out with that announcement. Ultra-long bond. Uh, well, maybe they All were right, doing outreach. so we outreach. have two things we have to go they over. The ultra-long bond in Germany. Let's start out with the ultra-long bond. Uh, I don't see how it can't be a good idea to issue very long maturities considering the voracious appetite globally of all that is U.S. securities. Well, but if you do it, you better go big or go home because the market's going to Go big need in terms of size? Size, okay. because you can't just do a little bit. This is the United States market, the U.S. Treasury market, and it has to be able to sustain itself. You don't want to have what I call trade. the seven-year bug. When they brought out the seven-year notes, they didn't have quite a large enough pile. Right. It took a while. Right. Even when Boone's started to be on the center stage, you need a lot of supply to keep a liquid market. Right. I mean, that goes back to what Alexander Hamilton said in 1792. We need a sustain to be able to sustain that credit market. You need a robust credit market. Now, the other big driver, of course, has been Germany uh, talking about stimulus and maybe not a balanced budget or a budget surplus you have questions in that regard well first of all I really needs to see a name I know that we have uh, uh, some people of substance but today the Bundesbank came out and talked about a slowing but I still didn't see Jens Wiedmann name attached to it I'm I'm hearing uh, because people are trying to push Germany and not, that's not a quite like the rest of Europe they're helping to support people well, they're, okay. they're trying to push them right. off off being fiscal conservatives and create a fiscal stimulus program and especially look at president macron of france goes to bed every night and prays for a recession in germany and i don't mean a, 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 a mild one like our last they number. want a severe because that will get germany to actually em embark upon fiscal stimulus and nobody would love that to happen more than salvini in italy because then the gloves can come off and he could basically then proceed and do whatever he wants so all eyes are in germany and they're pushing hard the problem is that they have Brexit to contend with at the same time, which will slow this down. You know, one thing I've noticed is after the whole diesel uh, issues, uh, the global dynamics of that part of the market, of course, have suffered. Uh, in Germany, autos are king with regard to the export side of their economy. Just the notion of less uh, internal combustion and more electric, that alone is going to play with their future. When you add the rest of it quickly, we're out of time. Yeah. It's a big deal. Oh, yeah, absolutely, it's a big deal. And they're going to have to get advanced battery work.